Well, that's embarrassing. Hey everybody, Chris, AKA Sparta Chris here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, as you can see, I had a little bit of an embarrassing uh, thing happen the other day where I was getting into my car and not just did the pants split, they basically, these, these shorts like exploded. Look at that. You see how, I mean, you could fit an entire another like arm or leg through this thing. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that happened, so. Uh, just even more reason for me to take the weight loss more seriously and really achieve the goals that I want to so I can avoid, you know, that happening again. That sucked. That was bad. Luckily, I was just getting into my car um, to go somewhere instead of already being out somewhere. Um, so crisis averted in that sense. It's a little after one o'clock on a Wednesday. This is week two of actually like getting my butt back in gear. As I said before, I'm going to tell you the kind of stuff that I'm doing each day. As far as water so far, I'm at about 48 ounces. I really wanted to be more than that, but I forgot to bring my water bottle to the gym, so that kind of sucked. So I'm gonna have to make up for it now and drink some more water. As far as food goes, uh, this morning all I had was a black coffee, about 20 ounces. This was leg day, so that means lots of uh, weightlifting having to do with my legs, um, free weights, and machines. I also did about 10 minutes on a Stairmaster, and then also uh, about 10 minutes of like yoga, stretching, things like that, trying to keep everything really loose. After the workout, I had a protein shake from Spartan, the chocolate peanut butter cup one. It was delicious. I also had one Epic Bar, the sesame barbecue chicken, and then also half a just grilled chicken breast that had been sitting in the fridge for a while and might not have still been good, but I did eat it with a little bit of sriracha on top. That's all I've had so far. I will have another snack later on the day, probably a kind bar, Laura bar, something like that with lots of water. And I think I'm going back to the gym later for some light cardio, probably for about 20 to 30 minutes. So uh, that gives me a lot of uh, calories to play with for dinner tonight, which I'm kind of thinking probably like Chipotle or or some sort of um, bowl, like rice bowl with um, meat, veggies, uh, rice, that's kind of included when I say rice bowl, you get it. But the big thing I want to talk about in this video today is breaking down uh, basically all my body stats. So my BMI, um, my muscle, my fat percentage, things like that, and all the measurements that I took on day one when I started this. I know this is kind of like a week later, um, but I just did all that stuff and just didn't get a time to uh, put that in a video yet. So I'm going to do that. I can tell you right now, uh, having done intermittent fasting for just a little over a week, I'm down about two pounds from what you're gonna see here uh, in this next segment. That's not as much as I was really hoping to be down, but then again, it's only been a week. And also I am still trying to curb some of those bad habits I have for binging um, both food and alcohol. I've been controlling the food pretty well over the last week, but I've had a lot of alcohol, so that's something I'm still really struggling with and trying to put a stop to. All right, so I'm gonna throw my data up on the screen right here so we can take a look. Okay, so this is done using the Renfo app. This is an app that accompanies the scale Rochelle actually purchased for us on Amazon. I don't remember how much she said it costs. It might be expensive, I don't know. But it's it, it's a smart scale, basically. So it, uh, obviously it tells me a whole lot of things. So my current weight right now is 199.8 pounds. It's not great. It's not nearly where I want to be. Uh, my goal is listed there. Right now my goal is 150. That is my total overall goal. So I need to lose about 50 pounds. That means my body fat goal is going to be 16% as opposed to right now it is 28.8. Um, if you look down there in the white section there, you can see it's in the red. It's not good. <laughs> red, red is bad. Green means good. Yellow mean eh. Red mean bad. So yeah, my BMI there is 31.7. And the red just basically means that, yeah, I am technically obese for my height and age and, and all those things. 
Um, some of the interesting stuff down here, though. So fat-free body weight is 142.2 pounds. So that is basically accounting for those good bones, those delicious bones, um, muscle, uh, organs, all that good stuff. If I had no body fat whatsoever, that's how much I would weigh, 142.2. So you can see next to the fat-free body weight, my subcantuous fat is 24.7%. Um, that is the fat that's like super visible. So like if you're looking at my jiggly belly, things like that, that is, that's that stuff. The visceral fat um, right next to it, that is the fat that surrounds the organs. So you can't, that's the stuff that you can't really see. Having a lot of visceral fat is known to um, cause diseases and, and, and other complications. So I don't like that. That's not good. Definitely need to get that down. And that'll come down with my overall weight and basically, you know, having a, a healthy lifestyle and eating better. All right. So now you can see a little bit more than my stuff that was just kind of hidden because of scrolling. So my body water... 51.4%, so that's good, that's good. Now this was interesting to me, my skeletal muscle was 46%. Skeletal muscle usually only makes up 30 to 40%. I mean, if this data is correct, because it might not be. However, I have done um, readings like this before in a professional setting, and though it didn't measure skeletal muscle, it measured a lot of these other things, and these numbers are all pretty much on point with the readings from there. So my skeletal muscle is quite a bit bigger. It's definitely above average. So that was just really interesting to know. That also might mean that getting down to the the weight that I'm listing here that that 150 was just kind of my my uh, my go-to guide that might have to be reevaluated as I start to lose fat and slim down especially if I start building more muscle just because my skeletal muscles already bigger than a normal person and because muscle weighs more than fat I'm just gonna have to keep reassessing as I start slimming down so that my goal is something that's actually, you know, smart and obtainable. Current total muscle mass, 135. Not much of a surprise there. Bone mass is 7 pounds. So if you get that, that muscle mass, that 135 plus the 7.2, puts me in the 140-ish range, and that makes sense. My protein percentage is looking good. My basal metabolic rate, however, is very iffy. Um, that is the number of calories that are required for my body to burn if I don't do anything. Like if I just laid in bed all day and did nothing, like I'm still burning that many calories. So if I wanted to lose weight without any kind of exercise, I would need to consume calories less than that. As some of my favorite health YouTubers will tell you, weight loss happens in the kitchen. And then metabolic age listed as 39, which uh, as you can see, it's in the yellow, which is the, ee, the iffy part um, because I'm not yet 34 as of making this, but I will be 34 in the next week or so. But still, that means I am several um, metabolic years away from where I should be. So that gives you an idea of where my body is currently at and where I need to be going. So there's all my data and measurements. 
that stuff is really helpful for me to know as far as tracking fat loss and not necessarily just honing in on the weight itself because that doesn't really give me the full picture. That Smart Minfo scale is available online on Amazon.com. That is where we got it. There's lots of other good ones out there like it. I honestly wasn't so sure about the purchase at first, but once Rochelle brought it home and I got to see how much information is packed into this thing, I found it extremely helpful and I'm going to keep using it moving forward forward. One more thing, big change coming. I am going to, uh, I say I'm going to, I already signed up for a CrossFit boot camp and that starts literally in just two weeks. Uh, it's going to be a six week program and it is basically CrossFit at any level, but I mean, they really cater towards beginners and I'm super nervous. I'm very, very nervous. Thank you so much to uh, Big Mike Loses who gave me a little bit of advice on Instagram. I've had a great time watching his videos and you can see one right here. The idea of doing CrossFit is super intimidating to me, especially because some of the people in there are just so bulked out, man. And, and that's just, that freaks me out because I feel like I'm gonna look like a failure. And Mike's advice to me was to go in, have a good time, meet everybody and expect to suck because you know what? It's my first time. I'm gonna suck and that's fine. That's what is expected of me. That's what I should expect too. I shouldn't expect to go in knowing everything and being great at everything. It's just not gonna happen. So I really appreciate those words of advice from him. And if any of you guys have experience with CrossFit and can give me any tips, advice, pep talks, anything like that, I would really appreciate it. Um, just leave a comment below. But I'm super excited to try something new and something that's really, really gonna challenge me and that I get to do as a team uh, along with other people rather than doing something kind of solo. Okay, so that's it for this video. I do have a long weekend coming up so I can relax and recharge. I'm super excited about it. And also, it's gonna be my birthday. Uh, because I'm getting old. I think I'm officially mid-30s now. I feel like 34 is what what means mid-30s because I'm I'm kind of midway through this decade. It's kind of a scary thought to be honest. Thank you again for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined, and I will catch you next time. Keep on fighting.